In most of the discussions about social media and news articles and things of that nature, we point to the insidious nature of it all, right? But the thing of it is, like all things, there's a positive and a negative, right? A pro and a con. And what I'd like to encourage you to do in this episode is to see the good of social media, right? The connectivity, the chance to build a community, connect with people like-minded that inspire you and so forth, right? So my challenge to you right here today is to curate your social media so that way the algorithm works in your favor as opposed to just feeding you stuff that that is unintentional, right? So think about what it is that you do want to follow. You know, for me, it's filmmaking, it's art, it's music, um, you know, just people doing interesting stuff. Magic, I love magic. Uh, so this is the type of stuff that I watch and enjoy uh, on social media. And here's another part of the challenge is find people that that have less than 10,000 followers that you think are doing amazing stuff and follow them and support them on their journey, you know? Uh, and I say this because in 2020, I had made a decision that, you know what? I will curate my social media, hence where this comes from. And not only that, but let me support like-minded people, right? I've always been an advocate of supporting your friends, but I said, you know what? Let me, there's a lot of interesting people out there who aren't quote unquote famous. And so I said, let me, let me just follow them and support them, you know, by commenting, liking their stuff, sharing their stuff and, you know, just, just do that for them. And because they inspire me and I want them to know that like what they're creating has value in the world. And that, that, that's been really awesome. And the nice part about it is you really get to see other people's journeys as they continue to grow. You know, um, in particular, there's a, a person named Chef Paya, as the title implies, or her social media handle implies, she's a chef. And I've seen her grow from, you know, a small social media following and just kind of doing her thing for a number of years at this point and then got onto Fox's uh, Next Level Chef and, you know, did amazing on that and actually ended up winning the competition and has grown because of that and is continuing to do amazing, amazing things. And so it's really fun to see someone's journey in that way who's so deserving and so forth. And you can and should be a part of that for somebody else. And likewise, you know, that will be reciprocated. One of the things that we don't think about often is the long-term effects of it all. We, we too often times it gets fed into us of like, you know, the 30 under 30 Forbes list or whatever it may be of like, just make it fast, make it now. If you're not a gazillionaire by the time you're 30, what are you doing with your life, right? It's not that, you know, we, yes, life is short, but at the same time, it's also long, right? Especially our careers and so forth. So there's times to do this all. And no, I wouldn't want to just do everything right here, right now, because I know I'm going to get to it later in life. And so there's an aspect of patience. And when you curate social media in this way, you start to see that. You start to, because the insidious side of, thing, of, of social media is to press down our throats this immediacy a FOMO. But if you curate your social media, then that goes away, right? Instead of FOMO, you have JOMO, which is the joy of missing out. And you start to be inspired by people as, a, as opposed to seeing individuals as a point of comparison against yourself, right? And that's the beautiful part. That's why I challenge you to curate your social media and also follow people that have less than 10,000 followers that are just doing incredible, incredible stuff. And one more for added bonus, comment down below, um, you know, who it is that you found that deserves to be followed because... You know, why not? Let's support in that way too. So thank you so much. I appreciate you and hope to see you next time.